What is up? Welcome back, High Defamation Television. Your host, do you see anyone else present and accounted for? No, your host, me, Eric B. HD TV, uh, Rob Power. I'm not gonna keep going. Uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, not too long after the last video, um, I don't, I don't really have a lot to say, uh, regarding the gap between videos this time around, um, or potentially perceived momentum in contributing content. <laughs> Fuck. Um, <laughs> what's up? I've been sitting around kind of an early night home from work um got changed for no reason started playing some records and you know decided i wanted to talk about them um i don't have anything on in the background i haven't been bothering with background music uh, probably like the last year you know it's wild actually here's a little aside a little tangent um next month will be one year since um, uprooting, moving to this fabulous basement dungeon. <sighs> Not really a dungeon. Uh, this apartment rules. Uh, you know, it has its it has its flaws. It has its quirks. I think every place everybody lives does. But um, in terms of living environs matching the tenants personalities, quirks, foibles. Uh, this one and me are, are, are like that. We're tight. Um, lease was renewed. I will be here another year. Anyhow, I've been listening to tunes. Um, that's not unusual. I mean, that's, that's pretty much typical. Um, wake up, listen to music at the gym, come home, listen to music on the record player, go to work, see clients, listen to music on the earbuds between clients, come home, make dinner, listen to records, watch some YouTube, listen to more records, watch a movie, maybe listen to some records. Um, anyway, I just kind of started pulling some stuff. Um, not just tonight. This is a uh, pulls from like, um, I don't know, a few, few days back last week, maybe. Um, and I was kind of inspired because um, I grabbed this fucking beauty. Um, actually, I, I did a st stop by at uh, ye old brick and mortar on the way home from work. I drive past, on my way home from work, I drive past. Oh, wait, hold on. Six record stores. Not all of them are, are great. Um, but most of them are pretty good. With a couple that are great. Um, and that's just in like three three neighborhoods of, of the area where I live. Um, I think like a five, six mile stretch. Anyway, I keep distracting myself. I picked up this butte after work. The other night, <clears throat> blind buy, I'll add. Um, but I mean, I saw this cover, and how could I not bring this home? <laughs> Just look at that. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? Look at those guys. First of all, yeah, they, got, they got the gas can fireplace rad they're called cemeterium album is titled faith and fear this is a back cover um looks kind of like well i i had a few thoughts like i said it was a blind buy um and man uh these guys i believe are norwegian uh it's fucking just straight up metal punk 
And man, it got me on a kick. Let me tell you. Um, this, this is like fucking black uniforms, data Morgana worship right here. I believe 1988, 87 or 88 is the year on this bad boy. Um, <laughs> some of these titles are not in my native tongue and um, my Scandinavian, my, my understanding of the Scandinavian languages and the ability to speak them is, is um, dismal to say the least. Uh, but I mean, you've got tracks on here like A Hot Day for Guns, Surrounded by Idiots, A Good Child is a Dead Child, Classy shit. Um, these guys came from another band previous to this. And um, I did my homework when I bought it, after the fact. Um, but I forgot to keep a mental note of what the band was that these guys came from. Pretty much um, from what I was able to glean, mostly just like a straight up hardcore band. Um, really cool. Red labels here. It looks almost like a private press. I mean, I don't know how big of a label fucking Chicken Brain uh, Records was. Um, I don't imagine super large. Anyway, um, man, this stuff is just scathing uh, in the best way. Like, like I said, it's going to definitely draw similarities or <laughs> you'll hear similarities to the shit like um, black uniforms. Data Morgana, if you're familiar with that, I'm on the lookout for their full length. Um, I've never seen a very attainable copy. Um, I think there's maybe one or two on Discogs right now, and they're not cheap. Also not in the United States, which isn't necessarily a drawback, but I think the shipping is, is kind of prohibitive. Anyway, um, you know, you're going to hear... Elements of some English dogs on here. Um, a lot of just like straight up nods to speed metal at the time. Um, just really fucking good, man. I am so hyped that I found this gem. And it's not, it's not a super expensive record um, from what I could determine. Uh, it's killer though, man. Um, just rad. And they were one and done. This is the only uh, full length they put out. It's stellar. But yeah, uh, I picked this up and it got me pulling shit off the shelves. Um, some An international bevy of records, if you will. The first uh, Lobotomia from Brazil. This is like, fuck, what, 85, I think, um, on this bad boy. This is a Blackwater reissue. Um, stellar, man. Uh, Lobotomia Started off kind of a similar trajectory as like Ratos de Parau, also from Brazil. Um, Lobotomia's demos are like just borderline noise, but um, really rooted in the South American hardcore scene at the time, like RDP. Um, just very abrasive, very loud, very chaotic. Um, and then with this record, uh, they were signed to Cogamello, I believe, for this for this album initially. Um, come with this sick insert. I may have shown this before too. I don't know. Uh, I have the demos, a uh, reissue of the demos as well. That stuff is stellar. But this is like, you know, think that early RDP shit. Um, very also indebted to um, what was going on. Uh, in America at the time um, has a very like you know metallic sound to it um, you can tell they were listening to some UK 82 shit uh, that early like um, Trips of Tomorrow Exploited um, you know when, when the shit started getting metallic over there um, probably heard Onslaught I'd wager. Uh, definitely listen to some Hellhammer. This is just stellar shit. Uh, I love it. It's one of my favorite releases from Brazil. Um, and very much in that vein of what that Cemeterium got me 
in the mood to hear uh, while sitting around. I pulled, uh, what else? I pulled this record, this fucking genius slab. Sacrilege BC Party with God. Uh, I don't know if I've ever shown this before. I've had it for a minute. Alchemy Records put this out in like, fuck man. I don't know. I'm going to wager. Shush, George. I don't have room for you right now, pal. I don't know. So abused and neglected. Uh, what year was this? 86. <laughs> Here, George down there, he's, uh, he's wanting to lap, but there's no room for him on mine right now. Get down, buddy. Uh, lyrics, of course. Sacrilege BC. Um, the other sacrilege existed at the same time as sacrilege from the UK, uh, which I think is why they were calling themselves sacrilege BC. Um, anyway, party with God, this record smokes. It's almost a thrash metal record. It's like that uh, lobotomia, the second record, um, stellar two, but it's teeters really far into thrash territory. This still retains a lot of that metal punk edge. Um, there's definitely more discernible speed metal, I think, than thrash. And while some people would say they don't hear a difference between speed metal and thrash, I have my own ideas of the differences. Um, in terms of what those differences are, they're, you know, who cares? <laughs> Settle down. Don't scratch that. That's a bad boy. No. 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 Anyway. <laughs> this record's killer. Uh, Asmaroth, Crucified, Fun with Napalm, Born of Hell, Skinned Alive, Death Toll, Final Rites. Just a rad record. It's super dark. It's super visceral. It is super awesome. Here's another one. This is an older one. Well, I mean, these are all pretty old, I guess. Um, first Concrete Socks. Your turn next. This record, I love this record, man. Um, the follow-up, really good, too. Sorry, Vicar. Um, this is better, I think. Uh, it's almost crust. Uh, but like that early, early crust, um, the year, what is the year on this? There's a guy's, this is early UK shit is my point here. Uh, see, I did, again, no homework here, no homework done. Uh, 84, 85, as far as the, um, credits on this go. So early, um, Weasel Records. Again, you're going to hear nods to, like, UK Sacrilege, Onslaught, um, shit like, uh, you know, Ripcord and Intense Degree would take uh, inspiration from these guys, um, especially this record. Um, it's just, it's rad. It's so good, man. Um, George, calm down. I don't know what you think you need right now, pal. I'm telling you. Senior cats, man. Very needy. I think the problem is that I just spent like a half hour chasing these guys around the apartment with the like their favorite toy is stop that. That's not a scratching post. Their favorite toy is like one of those plastic um bundle wraps that you see around like cardboard boxes, like bundles of cardboard boxes, like those the straps basically, the plastic things that you know stick to, to, to the ends to, to hold things tight. Um, they're, they're, that's their favorite fucking toy. They have tons of toys and that's their favorite one. Anyway, I've been chasing them around the house for like the last half hour, they're all wound up. But I think Henry got tired, he's sleeping on the bed. Anyway, you tired of hearing about my cats? Here's another, Fucking stellar slab. GZ. Fucking EP. Um, this is, I don't even know what year this, this came out. It was repressed in 2012 by 80K. 
pretty early Japanese stuff, man, and it's awesome. Just like a rad mix of speed metal, like motorhead driven, informed, uh, inspired speed metal. You can hear elements of like tank and fucking um, warfare out of the UK as well. Um, but then you'll also hear, because it's Japanese, elements of like Gizm and the Stalin. Um, so it's like firmly entrenched on this fine line uh, dividing speed metal and Japanese hardcore at the time. Um, another comparison, not quite as old as this GZ record, would be like uh, the band Gates, where G period, A period, T period, E period, S period. Um, they had a split with this close, and it's stellar. Um, anyway, this stuff is just rad. It's an EP. Uh, technically, what, five tracks? Um, just awesome, man. Really good. Not so easy to come by these days. Unfortunately, none of these really are. Um, not to say they're all expensive, but they just don't pop up very often. I think the GZ, some GZ stuff was reissued not too long ago, but it wasn't this record, if I remember correctly. I've already mentioned these guys, Swedish fucking masters. Black uniform. I know for a fact I've shown this. I don't care. I'll show this any opportunity I can. Um, this has also got pulled down from the shelf. Um, oh, and I should also add, since it just occurred to me randomly, uh, that the only the only new thing in this stack was that cemeterium. All this other shit is just like pulls um, inspired by the cemeterium. Uh, black uniforms, man. Faces of death. One of my favorite Swedish records of all time. Members of Anti Cymex. Moderate vi liquidation. Um, we also go on to become Driller Killer to some degree. Um, just phenomenal. Stellar. Uh, metal Punk. So when I think Metal Punk, I think of a very specific... Not I think of Motorhead, for sure. I think of Tank, to a certain degree. I think of... Um, Warfare. Those are like the three distinct UK bands that I think of that really kind of informed what, what pops into my brain when I think of the term metal punk. But that kind of shit fused with stuff like um, DRI, um, fucking MDC, fucking... Um, some of that SoCal shit, like, uh, Decry, fucking, um, definitely shit like Aggression, or fucking, um, to a lesser extent, like the first Vandals EP, even, um, just stuff kind of with their feet planted in that sort of a scene, um, anyway, that aside, this is just stellar, absolutely crucial, this has been reissued, um, and that one is fairly attainable from what I would guess. I haven't looked because I don't, I don't need the reissue. Um, insert. The dude's looking doodly. Really rad. This stuff just always hits the spot, man. Always hits the spot. I can tell you. And, I mean, fuck, look at that photo hey stop dude come on just chill out just use my leg as a scratching post I'm telling you these are dangerous when they're not uh, being engaged all the time this is another one I think maybe I've shown but I don't remember if I did show it a long fucking time ago man um some of you might roll your eyes, but yeah, I, th I include this record. Agony. Fuck, man. The First Defiance. Combat, Under One Flag. It came out, I want to say, 86? I am curious. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, anyway, <laughs> talk about good hair from that last record. Look at these guys. Uh, you got a Discharge shirt here, got another one here, but it's the wrong Discharge shirt. Um, you can't really tell in this picture. 
think he's wearing an Exodus shirt uh, and with these two guys. Who knows? Um, when did this come out? Collage, symbol of quality. No, bad. I don't know. I'm going to say it was the same year as Discharge's Brave New World. You can see the shirt better here. Um, this band actually notoriously, or they, they accompanied um, Discharge on that notorious tour, uh, the Grave New World tour, at least in Europe. Um, Agony, uh, fun fact, they changed their name to this upon signing to uh, Combat. Previously it was A-G-O-N-I. Um, very D-beat raw punk, really, like Mangle uh, inspired. Um, you know, moderate liquidation, uh, Mob 47 style shit. Doom from the UK, notoriously. Uh, did a, they did a covers record, uh, a Hail to Sweden, and uh, their cover, they cover an Agony track on that. Um, this is not like that. This is like, what would, to compare it would be like Hellbastard's uh, Natural Order. Um, complete shift uh, in musical styles. Uh, but in this case, again, like the Hellbastard, not a bad shift. Like, this is really competent um Rashing speed metal that is very informed by hardcore, specifically D beat um, and what we would start calling like stadium crust. Um, you know, you can hear like if you go back and listen to like early fucking uh, Wolfpack, um, pre Wolf Brigade, you'll hear um, a lot of elements that were probably inspired uh, in part to records like this. Um, so really, really cool shit. Uh, this one, this one's been on repeat a, a bunch, actually. I, this, I keep, I'm, all these are, I'm keeping out for a while. Um, and this one I, I played like, I don't know, three, four times. It's fucking great. I like it a lot. And it's, this one's fucking cheap too. Like if you find this, I'm sure, and I'm sure you've seen this in like the used metal section. You've been like, huh, I wonder if that's any good. It is. It's fucking really good. It's not exceptional, but it is a lot of fun. Um, and I pulled some 7 inches, too. Not a lot. Um, I pulled this Driller Killer. Uh, the fucking Total Fucking Hate. Uh, Life EP. Warning, contains covers. Yes, it does. Contains covers of a Moderate Liquidation track and of an Anti-Cymex track. Also, two original tracks. Um, I don't know what year this came out. I'm going to say I'm going to hazard early 90s. Early to mid 90s. They did a uh, very early split with Impaled Nazarene. Um, which is kind of wild. Um, but yeah, this is like a direct continuation of that black uniform shit. This is even more savage. Even more metallic. Um, brutal. Just driving fucking um Metal punk, metal punk. <laughs> Such a funny term, metal punk. Um, I would throw this in this in that same kind of realm a little bit. It's Final Conflict. I really like this EP, man. Um, the American Scream. This is uh, not early Final Conflict. Like their first record was what, like '85, I want to say, and. And this is 92 on this EP. Um, really fucking good EP, man. Really underrated. Like, I think in terms of um, material from this band, uh, this record gets overlooked quite a bit. Their second LP was fucking solid as well. Uh, really like this shit. It's a lot of fun. And it's, it's just really driving. Um... It's like too metal to be punk, but too punk to be metal. Uh, it's, it's, fucking, it's fucking killer. And then um, I forgot that I had this. Uh, and I got this like years back. Um, I was on some sort of similar kick at the time, if I remember right. And I had never heard of this project before. This originally formed in like the like 
87 or something like that early um, I'm talking about septic tank out of the UK um, they broke up um, it's basically it's cathedral but playing <laughs> really metalized fucking punk um, almost crust um, so they like broke up in the 90s uh, and then uh, reformed in 2013 13 like 2012 2013 this is a 2013 release uh, now i'm unclear as to whether these are tracks or 2012 excuse me um they were recorded in 2012 but i don't know if they were written in the original by, by like the original incarnation of the band um it's really good though like it sounds old um just cool, man. Really thrashy, speedy, uh, hardcore. Um, it's it's good stuff. I highly recommend seeking this out. I don't think it's hard to find either. Um, but yeah, really great stuff. And that concludes the stack. Uh, all the shit that I pulled based off of this one LP that is also stellar. How many times have I used the word stellar in this video? Let me know in the comments below. Um, anyway, yeah, that's all I've got. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to either, I don't know, play some video games or watch a movie or catch up on some of the YouTube, some of the, some of the fellow YouTubers in the YouTube of her <laughs> out there on the internet. Anyway, um, like I always say, hit me up down below if you saw anything that piqued your interest. Uh, if you got super stoked about anything that I talked about today, um, let's start a conversation. Let's have a little dialogue, a little back and forth. Um, it's part, part of the reason why anybody does these fucking things. Uh, and if anybody says that they don't do it for the engagement, um, I think they're fucking lying to me. Anyway, um, yeah, hit me up. And take care of yourselves. Take care of your friends. Take care of your family. Just in general, don't be shitty, man. I'll talk to you later, you too. Peace!